sunlight is the fuel of the future. Today's solar industry is dominated by silicon solar cells. Those silicon solar cells are actually really, really good, but they're really bumping up against the fundamental limit of how efficient they can be. If you can make the solar efficient enough, you can actually make a big difference. Swift Solar is building a new class of high efficiency solar cells using perovskite semiconductors. Kind of embarrassingly, I didn't think about climate change at all as a kid. I was always a little bit drawn to math and science, did math competitions in high school and so on. I knew I wanted to work on big problems, but didn't really have a clear way to do that. I went to MIT for grad school and studied electrical engineering there. There was a report that year that showed that if we didn't stop building new fossil fuel infrastructure by 2017, we were locked in to two degrees Celsius. When I saw that, it was like, well, hell, if I wait for 2017, it'll already be too late. So I better start doing something now. Perovskites are a naturally occurring crystal structure, and we engineer materials to make that structure in lab in a way that makes solar cells more efficient. One of the, I think, fun and extremely challenging things about solar is that there are so many things to work on and to improve to get that efficiency up. So that's our core metric. It's the efficiency of converting sunlight to electricity. If you look at silicon cells today, around 30% efficient is the limit. Perovskites raise the ceiling up to over 40%. The real advance here is that a perovskite lets you make a tandem solar cell. We stack two cells on top of each other. Having one that absorbs more high energy light or blue light, and having one that absorbs more red or low energy light. That's actually the reason we can get to very high efficiencies. Being able to stack two solar cells together lets you make a much more efficient cell. You only need something like 60 grams of material to make an entire rooftop to power a house. Whereas with silicon solar cells, you would need 300 times that much material. To make a perovskite solar cell, it's a series of steps depositing all of these thin films onto a substrate. That could be a piece of glass, it could be a piece of silicon, it could be a piece of plastic. You're kind of making a sandwich where you have a perovskite in the middle, and one side is a transparent conductor. And then on the other side, we often use a metal. Each of these layers could be five, six, seven, eight layers. All of them are deposited using thin film deposition techniques. And it forms a man-made semiconductor that absorbs light really well, transports positive and negative charge very effectively, and is tolerant to defects. So you can make this material with low temperatures. Materials like silicon, for example, you have to crystallize at 1400 degrees Celsius. With perovskites, you can bring together these materials and crystallize it at 100 degrees Celsius. They're lower energy to manufacture and also compatible with things like plastics if you want to make a lightweight or a flexible solar cell. Anywhere that the sun shines, I think you could put a perovskite solar cell. Having cheap, lightweight, flexible solar really opens the door to all kinds of new applications. It could be an electric bike, it could be buses, it could be trains, it could be all kinds of electronic devices, even things that are powered by just indoor room lights, your mouse or your keyboard, or things that people don't really interact with, satellites. When you're building a solar cell, you definitely need a credible team to build all these parts. You need really good software engineers, you need really good physicists and chemists, you need really good electrical engineers and product engineers, and we have been really lucky to bring together a lot of people who share this vision and share this mission of really wanting to make an impact on climate. Together, we are building a better world powered by sunlight. I'm Joel Jean, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Swift Solar.